Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to uh, Civilization 6. Today we're going to be playing as Suleiman Mutasem, who I have no idea how to pronounce that. And, and the, the really important thing we're doing today is we're going for a little bit of a chaotic game. So we are going to be playing on Deity, we're going to have a shuffle map, but most importantly, we're going to have the tech and civic shuffle mode and dramatic ages enabled. It's been a while since I've played with either of these modes. And I just, you know, I felt like I would have a little bit of a chaotic game today. I'm going to regret this. I'm, 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 I'm going to regret this. Here's the thing, right? Episode one, I'm like, dude, chaos, shuffle, craziness. This is great fun. I'm having a great time. Episode three, I hate my life. So we're on the upward curve right now. You just wait. That episode three or four turnaround, that's when things are going to get really grim. But until then, we're going to be having a great time. So I have no idea what the game is going to look like when I come into it here. Now, usually when I'm playing like a Civ, like if I'm playing a naval Civ, I'll be like, I'll oh, pick a naval map because that'll make the game more interesting. It's more interesting for the Civ. I don't, I, I don't even know what to say about this guy. I don't even know what to do. I don't get Janissaries. Now, the thing is, I feel like the Dramatic Ages mode, I think this really fits with the Ottoman Empire. Okay, it's kind of a... <laughs> Blurst start? Yeah, very, 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 very blurst. Okay, because on one hand, what the hell is this tundra? On the other hand, chocolate hills inside our capital city, you know? Now, this is going to be a dangerous piece of technology, but can you hear me out here? What if, what if I go to this Plains Hill? <laughs> just, just hear me out on that one. What if I go to that Plains Hill? Let me, let me do a little scouting with my warrior, you know? I'm starting to like the Plains Hill start more and more. I get a 1-3 tile and access to the Chocolate Hills. The only thing I don't like about the Plains... Oh, God. Maybe I should go coastally. It's a good fish start, really bad production. Yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm going to go to the hill. This is just a better start if I move. We gotta... We're hunting. <laughs> we're hunting for a better start here. Uh, so you go there. I'll need to get food from fishing. So, okay, this is already a very strange start. I may have to play one city for a while. Because we're playing Dramatic Ages. And so it can be quite hard to get a golden age in the first couple eras. And uh, also, because I don't have control of the tech tree, it can be very hard to plan around. <laughs> it can be very hard to plan around when I'm going to get era score. Uh, I am going to go ahead and research animal husbandry purely just because I want to find horses. If there are horses nearby my capital city, that would actually significantly upgrade the quality. Now, in terms of the first tile that we're going to work, I think getting a single scout out here. Let me th let me think about how much a builder is going to help me here. If I was able to get fishing, builder would help a lot because I could improve these fishing tiles, but a builder's not going to help much. I mean, I guess we can improve the wheat. Do we want to go for our religion? A religion is a really good source of error score. I guess I don't really particularly see the Ottomans as a religious sieve, but we are in a situation where we could theoretically, like let's say we hypothetically we surrounded this, right? You know what I'm saying? Like this? Now, it depends on how my civic tree looks, but we could get like a bunch of plus four. This could be a work ethic game, you know? Although the hard part is getting, <laughs> getting to astrology in a reasonable amount of time. Is this a monument opener? It might be a rare monument opener. It might be a low... Let me think about this. Let me think about this. We're thinking. So we definitely want to be going to war as Suleiman. The question is when and how, especially because in the dramatic ages, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me double, double, double check. Yeah, so two really key things that we want to be doing are getting Eurekas and leveling up units. So I think a couple scouts here, maybe even a triple scout opener, and then we'll hit 15 pop and maybe get one city. We'll see. Okay, we have been scouted by a barb, so we definitely want to head up that way, plus a tribal village. I think I will save that tribal village for my scouts to pick it up. I usually don't do that, but I think that might be worth it in this rare, rare instance. Oh shoot, we found another player already. A builder would be amazing on this farm as well. I don't know, I don't know. We're, we're, we're kind of thinking about things. Uh, okay, so I let Greece steal that tribal village. See, this is why, look, now you guys understand why I never leave them. Now you understand, right? Because every time I do, something like that happens. Every single time. And it wasn't like I left it for very long, you know? But yeah, now you know. Now you know why I don't leave those things. I don't like that I'm being denounced by Pericles this early. Um, that, that's a feels bad kind of moment right now. Uh, I also don't like how close I spawned to him. That, uh, that is, does not feel very good. Let's go ahead and play interception here. Right, so we've researched animal husbandry and we found exactly zero horses, which was, uh, a lot less than the number I was hoping to find. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta roll with the punches and accept, uh, accept the fate that has been handed to you. None of these tags help me. I really need to get the sailing, but I also, well, yeah, I'll get pottery. So it looks like we're going to be sitting on one city for a little while here, which might not make sense if you're like, you're like, well, you know, why are you sitting on one city? It's because if we can't get golden ages, our cities are just going to flip independent. So we need to, we need to do a little bit of a, uh, we need to do what I would call a bad build, essentially. And not bad as in like, oh, I'm bad. But like this build is actually just 
terrible. <laughs> that kind of bad. Uh, so we'll take Battlecry on this guy. At least that's a promotion. And we can start to send this scout south. Uh, we'll get the builder so that we can up the power of our capital slightly with a farm. I think that's a totally reasonable thing to do. And then we could buy this wheat here. Two, you know, two, three food, one thingy tiles isn't so bad. The big problem we have is we're still on one pop on the capital. So I need you to step into a defensive tile and then heal. It's all bad. Everything we find just makes this worse. <laughs> like everything we find. At least we did find a city state. I mean, that's kind of a, a more horsemen and more horsemen. All right, cool. So uh, it's going from what I would consider to be bad to worse. Uh, we do want to get a Pantheon this game, although Lord knows why, considering the situation that we're in. If I fortify both of these guys, they might win their fights. You might not. It depends on how much damage you take. He is crossing a river. You're fortified. You're in defensive terrain. Military tradition, you know, probably not a bad move here. Craftsmanship. I'm probably going to have to try to kill Greece, I think, this game at some point. I don't know. This is just this is just a grim start. Okay, the uh, the horse archer here makes this an entirely untenable position. So let's try to retreat. Yoink. 40 gold, you know. Uh, what could I buy with 40 gold? Uh, nothing particularly useful, sadly. I can buy myself a slinger next turn. Can maybe lead these horsemen away. All right, there's a slinger bot. That's going to help marginally. <laughs> oh god. All right, so we're already off to an incredibly bad start. I actually don't think you could have a, a start this bad unless you planned it. You know, like this is... If I plan to have a start this bad, I don't think I could make it happen. It's looking grim. Did this volcano erupt and hurt my scout? What the hell? He never even killed him! He never even killed a barb camp. Oh my god. This is grim. The bad kind of grim, not like the funny, ooh, it's Halloween. That's kind of grim. This is like the I'm losing my units grim. I've never seen a slinger die so fast in my life. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we found Mount Kilimanjaro at least. That's quite neat. Oh, and a, a, little, uh, a little level up for my scout. We'll go ahead and take the ranger promotion. So the, the slinger's dead. That's just, that's life. He's dead. And he managed to clear the barb camp as I was going to go for it. Wow. Okay. This is just rough. This is, this is dead. You know what? Listen, we're 10 minutes into the recording. Let's just, you know, we're just... We're we're going to struggle through it. We're going to struggle through it. I was going to hit the restart button, but this is what the people want to see. They want to see the pain. Oh, God, that was so painful. What I just witnessed there. I just, I'm going to look away from that. The less I look at my capital, the less painful it is emotionally. It's not even like I did a particularly greedy build. That's the thing that gets me here. I went like units, you know, I didn't go no units. I went some units. It's grim stuff happening here on the potato cast, let me tell you. I can't even settle my own river. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, at least we boosted archery and we killed that horseman. So we're kind of, we're back on the, we're on an upward arc now. To be fair, when you hit rock bottom, you know, uh, even if you bounce off the bottom, that's kind of like having an upward arc. <laughs> so we're, you know, we're on the up and up, but the up and up is not in of itself a particularly impressive up and up, but we're still on the up and up. That's the important thing to keep in mind. Now, do you hear me out here? I think actually one of my best plays might be to uh, to just alt F4 out of the game. However, I think for the sake of entertainment, I'm going to go ahead and stick with it. All right. All right. I'm loving I'm loving seeing the stats on my enemy empires like they're doing really, really well. I'm kind of not doing very good. I am going to go ahead and get a camp here because I think just every tile that I can get improved actually like significantly improves the quality of my empire. Like no cap on a stack, et cetera, et cetera. Despite the fact that I have the probably the most horrendous empire um, in Civilization VI history. Uh, am I going for fishing boats? I kind of need them. I kind of need fishing boats. And if I can get the Temple of Artemis, I think we're actually in with a shot here. So like we're working two reasonably good tiles now, which I think has me feeling a little bit more confident. We might want to start thinking about our first district here soon. Um, archery is up here too. So like we can make some use out of that. We could archer push. Well, I, could, I was about to say we could archer push, push Greece, but apparently he already has walls. So, you know, um, Ixnay on the archer snay. Now, in two turns, I can buy another wheat tile and having another wheat tile might make my life significantly easier. I kind of wish I had a luxury or a strategic or literally anything that I could sell to the AI. Uh, one thing I can do is in the near future buy diplomatic favor from them. So unfortunately, I can't really send my warrior anywhere and I have to keep tabs on where the hell these boys are going. And my scouting has been a little bit crippled. But you know, Suleiman actually does have a pretty strong archer rush. If me and Greece are both in Dark Ages, I think an archer rush or a catapult rush might be on the cards so we'll we'll see where the cookie crumbles where the cards lay all right i'm gonna buy the wheat again we'll go ahead and improve that wheat there's plus three plus three uh food i'm gonna go ahead and lock in the three food because i want to get to four pop asap here in this particular city um i just need to work more tiles 
So now we're working really good growth. We've got three food surplus, which means we're growing pretty quick. It'll take us 11 turns. So we're about to get a granary. That'll allow us to continue to grow. One big old city. Now this, this is unacceptable. I'm going to go ahead and have to declare a formal war on Greece, which I don't love doing, but I think is a necessary war crime. Um, once I finish craftsmanship, I can probably start pumping out units, namely archers. And to make that go a little bit faster for myself, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prioritize working the chocolate hills for that plus one science because it's a significant boost. It'll get me to archery nice and quick. Can we get this kill here? Can we steal that settler? Oh, that's big. That's a big win. Can you tank that slinger for a turn or two while I get my empire together? So stealing a settler actually, unironically, uh, puts me back in the game. <laughs> I was out of the game and now I'm back in the game. So we have to kind of think about where we want that settler to go. And I think it's pretty obvious that we should send it down south. We should also totally be looking to see if we can hit these dies. Can you hit him? Is that even a safe thing for you to do? You should take a hit and then be able to run away, like theoretically. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he's running away. Can you take this? That's a hoplite. Let's, let's, not, let's not go there. Okay, so the hoplite's a problem, but our goal isn't to, to win the war. Our goal is to just, was to just try to see if we could steal that settler. And I would say mission accomplished. <laughs> so we actually have to have a little bit of a think about the plan for our capital. There is an argument to be made to go for a harbor in the city would allow significant growth. Like if we got a harbor right there, we're talking, ba -ba -ba -ba, you know, that's a plus three harbor. That's what I would consider to be like minimally viable harbor. Uh, we could also theoretically later on in the game go for a really, really powerful mausoleum. And if a mausoleum is going there, well, then you know what else is going here. That's going to be the Temple of Artemis. And then over here is going to be the... Wait, did somebody build this? It must be adjacent to a camp owned by the city. That's that's what it is, though. It's adjacent to a camp. And then Kilwa here. Why can I never find Kilwa? I'm actually... Do you know There's something wrong with me. It's, it's my eyes. I need to get them, like, surgically replaced. There it is. Okay. So now, then, there's, like, a potential here for a really nice theater square, you know? And then that's kind of reinforcing the Ottoman stuff. Plus, we want to be building wonders this game because we need the era score. Right, 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 right. We want to be building wonders and going to war and doing all that jazz. So this kind of has, like, a really nice appeal to me. This kind of a beginning. So, but, like, here's the thing. What is our play? Uh, we also, we want to be going for Grand Bazaars, you know? So sure enough, this, I think this is necessary, I think, in the capital to go for the, I think it's necessary to go for the harbor in the capital because we need that gold, we need that food, we need the mausoleum if we can get it. That just feels natural to me. Feels like a natural move. Then obviously building other wonders, that naturally leads into a theater square. But what the hell is the district that we're going to be going for first? Honestly, it's probably going to be an encampment. This might be like early war. So where's the encampment going? I guess like here is fine. No, 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 no. We'll put the encampment over here because this looks like it could actually theoretically be useful for some sort of government plaza over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting to see it. So if we put campus, here we go. This is the play. Campus, campus, government plaza. Boom, 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 right? We get nice things here. Commercial hub, commercial hub. If we can get two cities in range to make this work. So one, two, three. So I think a city here, right? Hear me out on this one. A city here and a city here. And we can make this work. We can make this little section over here work if we get this kind of a configuration, which is really good golden science to make up for our lack of culture and stuff like that. So I think it is just going to be harbor. I think it's going to be like encampment, harbor theater square in like that kind of an order, just depending on which one we unlock first. I do have a soft spot in my brain for a preserve here, but I, this isn't really a preserve. Like I, as much as I would love to be building a preserve... It just the spawning location of the Chocolate Hills. Chocolate Hills, literally one tile in any other direction. And this is a very preservable thing. But just like the spawning location that it's in just really made it not preservable, you know. So that brings me to my civic choices. Now, in terms of civic choices, military tradition feels like a very natural early opener. I don't think I'm going to be getting much use out of colonization this game, although I do want my governor titles. I could be getting some use out of my government plaza. I'm kind of interested in getting to political philosophy. I would like to build a special... I, I want to get these boosts if I can. That's the important thing. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to get military tradition this game. So I'm going to research military tradition because it'll also lead me to the ability to build cavalry. And it also gives me flanking and support combat bonuses, which might be particularly useful against a unit like the hoplite that gets really good, you know, support combat bonuses. And by the fact that if it's a adjacent to a hoplite it becomes near unkillable so yeah we're heading for a dark age now let me see so if he's in ideal terrain and he has support bonuses you're in ideal terrain fortified so he would have 22 combat strength against your 16 no he would have 32 yeah you should survive a hit now i can't settle this city for another nine turns because it'll just flip independent on me or i could settle it now and use it as a base of operations 
with a garrison slinger in it for the next few turns of warfare. And if I pivot my whole army downward slightly, this becomes a kill zone. Uh, what's up? It's your boy. I totally forgot to plug in a GOG. I'm gonna just pay the money in a few turns when I get my Pantheon, and that's when I'll change it. Mega Colossal Eruption. Alrighty. Alright, kill zone activated, so we get a big hit on him. You fortify. This guy's dead, but if I kill him, I'm dead. But killing him, I think, is worth it, because I can maybe escape by running to the north like Zoidberg. Okay, once this monument is completed, I want the city to become a slinger printer. You just make all those slingers you can. Alright, nice. What if we fortified and shot him? If we attacked, could we get this kill? <gasps> Huge kill. That's a massive kill. Killing a hoplite this early. We trimmed down, but basically we stole production from him at like little to no cost. That's amazing. All right, one more turn until we get our Pantheon. Can you heal for a turn? Are you freaking kidding me? Where did the scout come from? You step back a tile. Want to bring him into the kill zone again. Um... Yeah, it's grim. All right, let's go ahead and unlock this. Drop discipline, drop this. Agog and urban planning. Boom, boom. So now we should see a significant pr production boost towards slingers. Pantheon, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what I should take. I mean, I feel like Earth Goddess is pretty good here this game. It makes these into faith generating tiles. Yeah, I think Earth Goddess is like a good choice here. It just, it gets me a little bit of early game faith. I do feel like God of the Sea long term is like my best choice, but maybe this faith actually matters. Does this faith matter? I think it does. We'll take the little bit of faith. It means a few of these tiles have some faith on them. So we need the science more than anything. We want to get the archery. Like if we get the archery a turn sooner, that's like amazing. So I don't know who wins this fight. Okay, you're double fortified. I think I win this fight if I'm double fortified, which I will be. Can we kill the slinger? We can. That's good. I need to like get rid of the pins because the pins are like, you know, obscuring things. Okay, he actually retreated with that hoplite and I lost a scout. I'm okay with losing the scout. God, let me tell you, I would love to get these kills with this warrior, but I feel like it would I would be signing his death warrant and I don't want to lose my warrior because he's my only melee unit right now. Now, my only hope is that this city doesn't actually flip independent because I only have one, but I guarantee you it will because the developers programmed it so that 60% of your cities flip independent when you, when you go into a dark age. Now, the good news is that he's in a golden age. Did I say good news? <laughs> I meant the really, really, really hyper, super bad news. Actually, couldn't be worse news. Not even blurst news. Just, just actually just terrible. It doesn't matter we have archery. Let's go ahead and get sailing. We'll buy a builder in the near future. Um, our capital city is flipping independent, FYI. This is actually what would be considered to be a bad thing. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, uh, capital city flipping independent, uh, no bueno. Can I get this kill? No, just about not. And he's going to promote now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. We're locked into a gritty early ward. That is a lot more units than I was expecting. Uh, let me just tell you that. I was not expecting that many units to appear on my border. Uh, you remember when I wanted to build the Temple of Artemis? Yeah, I don't think that's happened in this game. Let's just go ahead and recruit more archers. <laughs> Look, we're just going to archer our way out of the problem. That's like the classic Civ way. It's like you got a problem, you build archers until you don't have a problem anymore. It's like everybody knows it. Everybody's done it. I'm pretty sure there was a poem written about it. I tell you what I really don't like. I don't like this city that I stole and settled flipping towards Greece. That is something that I find reprehensible. And uh, I would like the game to stop doing that. This barb camp here spawned. This, this, like, look, it couldn't have spawned more perfect to harass only me. Like, I'm the only guy. I'm like, the, I've got main character syndrome, except that the world hates me. <laughs> you know <laughs> but that's what it feels like I've, I, like yeah I've got I've got main character syndrome but the world is actually revolving around me but not in a good way we are slowly clearing out the mess you will die if you stay here so you should step here to try and beat these guys forward more um uh, let's go for bronze working so we're having a we're having some problems we can solve these unique problems so I need to get this warrior out of here let me tell you what I get him out of there like that I'm gonna lose a, I'm gonna lose a unit that's life. But the counterattack that comes next turn. Oh, let me. Oh, and I didn't lose anything. Oh, we just barely survived. Okay, the heal coming in clutch. Let's doom cycle you. Can I get everybody to attack this particular hoplite? Yes, I can. Can you go here and retreat? Can you heal? Okay, somehow we're doing the dance of the deadlies here. Not to be confused with the dance of the dudleys. That's a Harry Potter thing. It's really grim. It's really, really, re like, especially grim. If this river floods, I think I actually just alt F4 out of the game. And I accept my fate that this game was designed to destroy me emotionally, physically, intellectually. All right, the city of Bursa flipped, but I'm flipping too. Flipping mad. We definitely need to get this warrior over there. 
that's fine. You can you can go that northern way. Let's get a governor in the capital. I think I'm going to go for Victor. He makes the most sense. There we go. Minimally invasive warrior transition. You go here, shoot that guy, make him go away. He did go away. He went to the, the alternate reality at the end of life kind of go away. Let's get another governor title. We're all in on war. The, I like literally archers are the only way I get out of like this grim this grim proposition that I've been given. Let's continue to bombard the city. I think it makes sense to take a little pillage here for a heal. And then I also think it makes it sense to slam with the warrior to try to get the city down faster before the walls get up. Let's go for riding. The, the really grim proposition is the fact that this guy's in a golden age. Now he wants peace, not happening. The, the second really grim part of this proposition is the fact that this city, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it with loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh what's the lo what's the damage coach Ooh, actually it's looking okay it's looking okay we've we got it we're on the edge of viability here now uh can i tell you don't look at my golden come <laughs> it's just the why why are you looking at that area of the screen what possible value could you obtain from looking at my golden <laughs> just don't look up there in fact i, I wish uh, i'm gonna hide it put a little black bar over that Morbius for a minute or two we just we're not gonna look at the gold income it's fine it's all fine you I'm gonna sell off all my open borders for a little bit of cash and then I'll buy Congo's open borders we need to clear this barb camp A for error score and B for peace of mind because uh let me tell you I'm limited on both so if I think about the arc I can get three maybe four archers in range of roads like pretty pretty comfortably okay we cleared the barb camp that's another 30 gold it's nice. So we're, you know, we're chipping away at our issues. Just chipping, chipping, chipping. Um, I do think that I'm all in with the war with the, auto, the the Greeks, though. I think I actually just have to wipe them off the map to even have, like, the slightest chance of viability this game. And it's probably going to happen soon. Of course you would attack my archer. Of course you would. Let's press a little. We're not looking to kill him yet. We're just pressuring. Depends on how hard. So he, he still hasn't made archers, so his city doesn't hit that hard. That's good news for me. That means I can start to plink and chip and just take little bites. Now, let me explain to you what's going to happen here. Just so that when it does happen, you guys can be like, wow, he's actually played a lot of this game. At some point, he's going to build an archer and then start two-shotting all of my archers around the city. It's going to look like I'm winning for about maybe three or four turns. Then he's going to build the archer and then it's no longer going to look like I'm winning. <laughs> um, I don't think we can safely attack anymore. Let's go ahead and back up the heal. So can I... Do I even have the cheaper unit card? No, I don't. Oh, God. Where do you unlock that? There it is. Okay, so we will have state workforce soon. Another barb camp. Lovely. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Thank you. There's the catapult. So not quite an archer, but still a unit that presents a, a very unique and difficult challenge. So nice job. You survived. So we definitely need to clear out that catapult. And I would love to be leveling my units right now, but let me level with you. There we go. There's incendiaries. Not good. Let's go ahead and grab our good old friend... Victor and put him into Bursa. My capital has positive loyalty. Now, if we could take Rhodes, I actually think this game becomes a hell of a lot easier because we have an archer capable of ripping down walls and we are slowly but surely ripping down walls and we're going to inherit like an insane, an insane amount of infrastructure. There's a hoplite. Hoplite needs to die. Why some of these guys have anti-unit combat strength bonuses. Now, the fact that he's standing next to another hoplite makes my lo job, my life, my job, my lob. It just it makes the game harder, is what I'm saying here. But we do get the kill, that's good. Now I feel safe to do this and be a little bit more aggressive now that I've got a unit adjacent. Another catapult comes out. That's kind of to be... That's within the realm of expected. Fortunately, I don't think we can deviate from the plan. I think we need to just make it so that the city dies. Because if we can break the fortifications, then we can start talking about, like, actually taking the city and clearing out some of our issues. Take Garrison Commander. Uh, this will actually come in really clutch, especially if I decide to buy tiles. But I think we also need to plug in Conscription now. And I think that might be enough archers. I think I should get something like a government plan. I should get literally anything. So yeah, we're taking the double shot, which means these guys are getting a little bit hurt. And that's actually a really bad unit to get the double shot because he's my big DPS on the city. Can't quite kill you. So we'll rotate out. Keep on healing in the free world. The catapult! Where is he pulling these catapults out of his ass? Jesus. Okay, the city is just about to have no walls. That's huge for us. So even if he gets a better range unit, I think that's, that's a wrap for him. You're not even the city to build this. Go for the encampment. Maybe great generals will save us. All right, all right, all right. I think I think I think we've managed to stabilize to a point now where the catapult is inside the city. Oh, for God's sake! That's absolutely the worst. That's like worst case scenario. The catapult is inside the city. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, a oh, little, little poking. Little, you know, the city's not shooting anymore. So I'm a little less terrified of the situation that we're in. But still, it's taking a lot of work to break this. But this is this is what it takes sometimes to uh, to win an early war. That's a lot of fucking catapults. Okay, scratch one bogey. We kill the catapult. He's on 52 signs per turn. <laughs> He's lo- ah, <laughs> We just, we grind him down. Grind him down to the bone. All right, we do a little switch. We do a little switcheroo. You go here, you go here, you go here. We're, we're doing an advance. We got him on the ropes, so we're advancing. And when I say we have him on the ropes, I mean... Uh, somehow we're clinging on to the <laughs> this game by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> oh no, Blizzard, please. Don't release another bad WoW expansion. Uh, okay, hold on. We're killing him. He's dying. I'm dying. Slow and inevitably, but not today. Nice. Okay. We're very close to beating Rogue. <laughs> it's about to happen. Oh no, I lost a unit. How? Who could have foreseen this? I foresaw it because I called it out last turn. That blizzard is just like looping around in a circle being really terrifying. Oh, we got it. Now, problem is uh, we don't <laughs> we don't have the loyalty in here. When can I get another governor title? Not for a while. Okay. 16 turns. Are you kidding me? Four turns until rebellion? What do you think? I made a loyalty? Right. What if what if we put him in here? With five turns. Okay. We got five turns. What if I keep the city? Eight turns. Oh, Ooh, not good, not good, not good. That's the not good offensive, right? Let's do a little unlocking here. Yeah, I don't, we can get the monument in a couple of turns, which will give us a tiny little scratch of loyalty. The big thing we need here is some kind of loyalty. So yeah, I think we have to go ahead. We need to plug in Limitanie, but I can't do that because that's literally all of my gold. <laughs> oh God. Uh... That's all my gold. That's all of the gold that I could possibly have. He's I I know for a fact he has like a man at arms in queue and it's it's gonna appear in like about four turns and that's just the game over for us. Like it's just I I I could feel it happening. You know I have the uh, I have the sieve side. I just I know when the bad thing is gonna come and get me. Regardless, we press on. We have no fear. We have secured a golden age, which means. Uh, we get 15% of uh, no science and culture, which is quite nice. It's a 15% boost to our terrible situation. Oh, God. Um, but can you grow? No, you can't grow because you're all messed up. Right. Um, you're not even going to get that monument finished. You're flipping too fast. I feel like the game lied to me. Happiness level. Oh, shoot. Can I purchase luxuries? Oh, will this save me? Now I def... By the way, now I definitely can't take out that card. Because I just spent my money, my extremely limited gold supply, I spent it on luxury... Re <laughs> it's like you're done. <laughs> if, if the Ottoman Empire is like a, an offshoot of the, the Turkic Empire, it's like my dad comes into my empire, it's like, hey, what are you been... What the hell's going on here? What do you spend all your money on? It's like, sorry, dad, listen, I had... I, had, I really needed to buy tobacco, silk, marble, dyes. I, like, I needed to buy all of these things. He's like, what do you mean? You, need, you don't have sanitation. <laughs> you ain't got sewers. What are you doing? buying luxuries <laughs> oh fucking hell oh uh, okay we're <laughs> we're in a bad way man we're in a really really bad way but you know what this is like the perfect point i think to leave off an episode like we've <laughs> i don't even know how to i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time bye bye